there's a story in my book. I broke up the largest cockfighting ring in New York City looking for stolen Vespas. My fucking sergeant gives me this whole speech. Don't get involved in anything but autocrine. That's a story from Grand Theft Auto. So you started fighting I, cocks. I dude, I walked into a fucking basement apartment. Well, it was it wasn't an apartment. It was a like um a common area. We were looking. We had these stolen Vespas and a kid got locked up in the Bronx with one. So I went to the neighborhood and I started hitting all these um these buildings and talking to the superintendents to let me in their common area where people keep their bicycles and snow blowers and shit. Cause that's where they stash stolen shit. And if the super gives me access to look, I can look right. So after about the sixth or seventh building, we stumble upon, I that the super, he, he looked like tattoo from fantasy Island and he was stoned the out blame. of his mind. The blame. He kept fucking, awesome. well, no, he was like fucking dropping his keys. I says, can I look at the comedy? And he like, see, see, and he keeps dropping his fucking keys. And I'm like, there's something in there. This motherfucker doesn't want me to see, but I'm, you know, I'm taking yes for an answer. Cause he's saying, see, see. So he opens up this fucking room and running around on the floor. You must've had about 50 chickens and roosters running around. I guess those were like the training cocks. <laughs> But then stocked in fucking stacked in pods, like across the wall was like 50 or another hundred, like hardcore roosters, and they're all clucking and shit. And I'm like, I know what this is. No, but I don't like I'm an auto crime detective. I don't work for the fucking ASPCA, but I know it's a crime. But I had just gotten read the riot act because I just walked into a gambling location. I locked everybody up, and my sergeant said, My lieutenant told me, no, just stick to auto crime. I said, All right. So I leave. So the super goes, it's OK. I go, it's OK. He goes, really? I said, yeah, I don't give a fuck. Right. And I leave. No Vespas, no Vespas. I leave. I call my sergeant up and I go, listen, there's a fucking cut. He goes, call the ASPCA. I go, no, see, we can make a lot of fucking overtime with this. We'll call them. <laughs> He's like, call the fucking ASPCA. So do you remember that show that used to be on TV? Animal Precinct on Animal Planet. Yeah, there was yeah, a bunch yeah. of ASPCA cops yeah. running around yeah. saving fucking cats and shit. Well, anyway. I call that number and I recognize the guy's fucking voice immediately. And it got, I think his name was Romano. And I go, Officer Romano goes, that's me. I go, Animal Precinct for Animal Planet. He goes, stop busting my balls. What do you want? <laughs> so I told him, I go, listen, I said, I stumbled upon this fucking thing. It's full of roosters and cocks and all this shit. He goes, OK, no. He goes, I'll tell you what. He goes, we're going to investigate it. He goes, if we get a warrant, I'll call you up if you want to piggyback on it. I said, fucking great. I forget. I totally forget about it. About two weeks later, true to his word. I'm, I'm putting a fence in with my father and my father fucking stuck the auger in a tree root and started dancing around. He looked like he was square dancing. I had to push him off and knock him on the floor. Anyway, the phone rings and it's this guy and he says, listen, we're going to hit the place tomorrow and round up all these birds and shit. And I said, nah, you know what? My lieutenant told me to stay out of it. <laughs> Next day, it's on the front page of the Daily News, the New York Post, largest cockfighting ring broken by the ASPCA. Oh. They, they did their job, right? My sergeant's a fucking idiot. He reads it and he makes the mistake of telling my lieutenant, who was one of these guys that like, if he could have jumped in on the Kennedy assassination, he's just <laughs> one of these guys like he was always trying to grant, steal someone else's thunder. You know what I mean? Like he was always trying to get his two cents into everything. And he goes, get Ferrari in here. And he's fucking reading me the riot act. They go, did you not just tell me to stick to auto crime? <laughs> so, yeah, I broke up one of the largest cockfighting rings looking for a Vespa. <laughs> 